Hello! In this video I'm going to show you a new model. It's rather simple but not that easy to fold uh, because it's three-dimensional and has some curved folds. It's a candle with a color change for the flame and it comes with this, uh, its own stand. This one I folded from a, a paper that I painted with acrylic paint and well, this one has a golden foil on one side. So, um, here uh, I show you how to fold it. I um, recommend to wet fold this model, but for the video I use just normal Kami paper. And <clears throat> let's start. I only mark uh, a little, uh, a little bit of the diagonal, and then fold one side to that crease mark, and the other side as well. Okay, then fold this tip to that point and fold this edge to the top but only crease to that middle point here and do the same thing on the other side. Fold this flap to one side. It's a so called rabbit ear fold. Then open it here and press it flat. You can check if this middle line is in the center from the other side. Now, if you don't use dual color paper, the flame is just fine like that. But for, oops, for the color change, um, we want to um, turn this inside out. I open the model. And now we have to um, do these two, um, to change these two valley folds into mountain folds. Like, like so. And then Collapse the model again. And do the same thing on this side. Open it, change these two valley folds into mountain folds, and then collapse the model again. That's it. Now you have the flame on the other side for the color change. Now fold this um, this tip to the middle line like that. And then fold this tip up, like so, uh, 
open it again. Um, fold this edge to the middle line, but only from here on. And this, uh, don't make a sharp crease here. Open it and then fold this um, this point to that edge. And again, don't fold this with a sharp crease. Just this part from that crease, from this intersection on downwards. Okay, we fold these two creases, um, make, a, make a valley fold here. I see that's not really precise. So I corrected this a little bit. And wrap, wrap this around, again, no sharp crease here, only in this part. And then make a valley fold here. This could be a two-dimensional candle already, or you could could stand like this, you could um, form a flame later, but to make a really three-dimensional round candle we need to, we need to make a, a half circle here and that's not not too easy. Just start here and here and make a curved, make a curved fold. Like so. And then open it and we have to change this valley fold into a mountain fold. Maybe that's not so easy. Okay and then refold the whole thing and now press on the sides of of the candle to to make this round and at the same time press from below You see? That's it. And now um, make a mountain fold here. You can start this point so that you have that you have almost a, a square for the stand. Like 
that. And then um, make it make it round. And the candle should stand. So now for the flame, I, I fold this in half and then make a curved fold here, just press here and make a, a round shape. Like so. On both sides like that. This could open a little bit here and that's I think that's fine that's uh, it looks even better than So, and then um, just make another curve. Like that. Or something similar just as you like. And that's it. It's done. So fold a lot of candles as our sign of bringing light to whatever we feel to be dark today. It's not only nice for Christmas time, but there might be more times of the year that need some light and hope. So I hope you you like this little model and enjoy folding it. If you do so, um, give this video a thumb up. And hope to see you next time again. Happy folding. Bye bye.